Like now? Yeah. Now? Now. Now? Now. Hey, Generation, this is Pastor Joey, and uh, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what happened at Hillsong Conference uh, two weekends ago. Basically, we took the leadership team and a group of volunteers to Orlando, Florida, and we participated in the conference that Hillsong Church puts on for their youth. It's called the Hillsong United Conference. It was the first one ever in America, and basically what it was is about 6,000 people signed up for this conference and they just all gathered there together two days and we worshiped God with everything that we had. It was crazy just to see 6,000 young people just full on worshiping God with everything that they had inside of them. God just moved in a whole new way with all of us and like with me personally he's like he showed me how to go into a whole new level of worship and just like experience him in a whole new way and I just call it a whole new heart for worship it's not really about what other people think you know I've always had a problem lifting my hands and wondering what the person behind me or the person next to me is going to think and being there with 6,000 people dancing around and shouting the name of God and raising their hands made me realize that it's not about what the person next to you or the person behind you thinks but it's about that time with you and God where you can worship him wholeheartedly about unity in our ministry because it is so important. If we are not unified, then honestly, you just can't you can't move as well as God intends you to. But also, we got so much wisdom, knowledge, and insight from their leaders and pastors at their church, and and it just made me realize how. You know how Joey always says that they started out with 200? It just makes me realize, like, we can be that. We can expand just like they did, you know? He really just spoke to our team big time. We have so much more unity now. and uh, We are disciples, and we all need to open ourselves up to new opportunities and be able to reach out to our friends and our family and not just hold it all inside and just be selfish and keep it for ourselves. The things that we're bringing back here from Hillsong, um, there's just a lot of creativity, a lot of ideas. Um. Much about humbling yourself and just letting God take full control of your life. Friends that uh, it's not necessarily about um, trying to be like anyone else or trying to turn our ministry into another person's ministry or like Hillsong or make us like um, just to look around and see other people and try to make ourselves like them but more that um, God's given us our own creativity, He's given us our own voice, He's given us our own talents. Um, we spent the whole weekend being excited about what God did in Hillsong, um, but I think the whole point was us, for us to bring that excitement back and use it here and, and, and use that excitement for what God's doing here in this ministry. That's going to take the stand and it's actually going to rise up and be the light of the world. I think that, um, you know, there's so many great things that are going on, but if we continue to fall short, then we're not going to reach what we have planned for us. And God's got something new and different here for us, and um, I believe it's bigger. We have to believe that and be united in that, um, and true unity um, comes through believing the same thing. And so for our ministry, what I have to say is uh, really fight for the voice that God's given us. We've got to see firsthand that if our youth ministry just really gives our life to this cause and to building the local church, then uh, we'll come back with a heart for worship and we're really just going to change our community and we're going to change our world. And uh, we've just got a lot of momentum and a lot of expectation and we're hoping that in uh, months to come you guys will get involved as volunteers and leaders and you'll be able to go with us on the next trip. But not only that, we'll just be able to make a difference right here in our church by worshiping and praising God and giving it everything that we've got. We, we are the future. 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 And the future. And the future. And the future is now. We are the future. And the future is now. But the party never stops. I know you like the party, but the party never stops. Oh, I know you, I know you, I know you. I know you wanna be here, so you just let go. And no one's ever gonna tell you no. Well, I want to, cause I know.
know you, I know you But you are the only Jared Miller's still sleeping <laughs> You wake him up? He's been sleeping for <laughs> Like 19 hours 19 hours probably, that's a good estimate Do you want to go wake him up? I'd appreciate it if we woke him up in a funny fashion <laughs> Let's do it Okay But you party on, party on. 